The last thing we did on our spring break, and by the way, we don't tell you these to flex. We we tell you this because it might be something you want to do. Well, and also we kept driving by it, and yeah. I've actually I've actually done something similar to this in one of my jobs before because they offered it there, um, and I've kind of been like, you know, what? I want to try that sometime. So I've never had, I don't think, an IV in me for pleasure. <laughs> right, right. <laughs> you know, yeah. unless you count giving blood. Yeah, that's what you do. It's you're, a pleasure. You're very good yeah, about that. It's almost time again. Yeah, but anyway, we also went to Prime IV. Yes, over by Brolem's and Ammon. And look, they give you free socks. Free grippy socks. The free best grippy kind of socks. socks. Yes. Yeah, they were very nice. These and these are quality. These look like they could last for mm-hmm. me up to a year. Yeah, I would say so. Yeah. Yeah, but anyway, I so. I've actually done IVs before, mostly for hydration and stuff. Okay. But this last- Or vitamins or- Yeah, stuff like that. Why else would somebody do it? Uh, yeah, mostly if you're like needing some hydration or some vitamins, or if you just want like um, like a little bit of energy. you just ran a marathon? Mm-hmm. Yeah, okay. it's really oh. good for- Yeah, bodybuilders will do it a lot too. I mean, how how is Prime IV different than Liquid IV? Uh, like in terms of the stuff they put in you. Well, for one, it's intravenous. <laughs> yes, I know. <laughs> yeah, but yeah, no, mainly it's just that they can uh, get you more direct micro uh, minerals and stuff like that. Like, yeah. Really? Okay. Yeah, I would say so. Well, whatever. <laughs> I'm fully convinced and I wish it could be mm-hmm. part of my daily routine. <laughs> right. It's really nice. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it's just one of the, I say one of those IV places, like I've been in one before. I haven't. I've heard of them. Sure. You go in, the room's dimly lit. Mm-hmm. They got those massage chairs, sort of like maybe awesome relaxation. Hands. Yeah, it's a lot like that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Only with an IV. But then they've got a registered phlebotomist mm-hmm. asking you to pick something out on the menu. And you don't have to do this, but we did just because it was my first time and I wanted it to be special. Right. <laughs> but um, we got like the baller package. Yeah. Because, mm-hmm. and here's the real reason I... um. Wanted to get the baller packages. It was at the very top, and I could tell she wanted to go down the entire list right. and give me the value explanation pre- presentation. And I was just like, "Yeah, you were so not into it," <laughs> which I get. I do. Well, okay, I'm not into the experience of sitting in a chair for any more than thirty minutes. I know you're really <laughs> you're really impatient like that. Hairdresser Abby, mm-hmm. she knows that. She knows I will be in her chair less and tip her more the shorter she takes. Mm-hmm. Yep. I, I just, so I was kind of like, mm, can we speed this up a little bit? And I, I don't mean to, I hope I don't come across as uh, <laughs> asshole Cause you know, I'm trying to work on that. No, I get it. I do. But, but here we are talking about it because you guys, it was an extremely cool experience. Like yeah. at one point I was sitting there and I said to the nurse and it probably didn't make any sense, but I was like, I can like feel my eyeballs. Mm-hmm. Is that like, do you know what I mean? Like I can feel my entire tongue. Yes. Yeah. Right? Like you could, you could suddenly feel all of the moisture rush back to parts of your body that had been less moisturized than they should have been for a while. I guess. And I try to drink my water. Yeah. You're usually really good, but you know, it just happens sometimes. Yeah. And just when you I mean, get busy, off you camera, forget. I yeah, have you've got two waters two here. Two waters. One yeah. that's just clear because it's not annoying on the show. Right. And then one with ice in it. Um, but one of the big reasons that we decided to go is because I got my first sunburn of the season mm. after being outside mm. for a whole 15 minutes. That's a good reason to go. Well, here's the thing. After that, I felt so dehydrated for days and I couldn't, like, I was pounding water. I had at least it. like two big old things of Gatorade a day. Well, when you get a sunburn, hydrated. I imagine your skin gets dry. Yeah. And when your skin feels dry. Yeah, exactly. I don't, you don't feel hydrated. I've never had that bad of an experience because I, shockingly, I get a lot of sunburns. <laughs> and never, <laughs> okay, Ginger. <laughs> and never before have I felt so dehydrated after I got one. But this time around, I felt like that, uh, I felt like that scene where SpongeBob and Patrick are put under a heat lamp so they can dry out. <laughs> and I was just like, water. Is it a post it winter thing? Is it a post COVID thing? I don't know. Is it a post both thing? You know what? I mean, you can hydrate pretty quickly, can't you? I think. But that if it's... you can't, boom, prime IV. <laughs> prime IV. 
I think that the biggest reason for it is because I'm constantly like running around and I just keep forgetting to drink water. Yeah. Like I'm, I'm just not a hydrated girly. I need to work on it. It's a problem. Well, two you and know? a half years ago when we met mm-hmm. almost three now, mm-hmm. um, I know that you were all about the liquid IV. Mm-hmm. So I wonder if we just need to run to Costco and. Sorry, I had to have a hippo. That's your birth <laughs> you, had, you had to have a hippo head. <laughs> I did. Or was that so his tummy? <laughs> no, it was his tummy. Okay. Yeah, or a hippo perfect. butt. <laughs> you know, what? I'll just get the I'll get the rest out of the way. That's that's why they're so cool. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you can just selectively eat them. Mm-hmm. They're just the perfect little treat. And I never used to understand <clears throat> when my grandma would say I'd be like, "Hey, you know, she'd we'd go to the store, I'd come out with a Snickers." Mm-hmm. And she was and I'd be like, "Hey, you want a Snickers?" And she'd be like, Oh, just a little bite, just a little mm-hmm. sweet treat. These things, are, if if you're that years old, mm-hmm. yeah, they're perfect. One more time, Especially that's because they're not very big. Kinder Happy Hippos. Okay, mm-hmm. I feel silly um, talking about all that sugar <laughs> when what we're really excited about is Prime IV. And I'm mm-hmm. sure, are there a couple other places in town too? Yeah, there are a few others. You know, a lot of the clinics around here will do that. Okay. The nice thing about them is that they specifically do the IVs. So you don't have to like go in and talk to a doctor or anything before that. You don't have to do like three pre-appointments before you just go in and get an IV. You can just go in and get one. So they're not, yeah, they're not really giving you medication. Mm-hmm. I mean, yeah, they're they're giving you vitamins and that's about vitamins, it. Vitamins, saline, yeah. mm-hmm. and uh, all, yeah. yeah, all the legally allowed by law without a license kind of stuff. Right. Can basically. I say that? <laughs> yeah. This is turning into yeah. a lousy plug. But like, but you did have to fill out like a twenty-page form mm-hmm. for the doctor. Yeah, and it was just it really walking out of there. Mm-hmm. I felt like I am God's child. <laughs> this is how I was meant to feel forever. Yeah, well, and they're great for like you know athletes, people with hangovers. You know, uh, kind of like Gatorade. You know, if you're drinking yeah. a Gatorade, it's because you've either <laughs> right, you know either run a athlete. marathon or you're yeah. a hung or you're hungover. <laughs> I, yeah, <laughs> I did see a joke uh, about that once. Somebody was like, "I want to see an honest Gatorade commercial <laughs> where it's just the dude on the side of the bed. He can barely reach for it. He knocks the bottle over. He swears a lot." <laughs> then he calls for his wife to bring him some more. You know? That's funny. Yeah. But anyway. But yeah. You know, really actually. Really cool and a fun brand new experience. Yeah. You know how much I love the brand new experience. Yes. Well, and also I feel like it kind of proves what a metropolitan area we're becoming. Yeah. That we have an IV bar, you know. You know, they should. Do they have the thing where, because uh, I know oxygen bars were big. Uh-huh. Can you hydrate and suck flavored Ooh. oxygen at the same time? Uh, that's a genius idea. If if they can't, they should, and they probably will. Well, and also because that's a genius idea, <laughs> right? Well, and also you could always just go to Walgreens and get one of those canned airs that you oh, bought the other yeah. day. <laughs> that wasn't the other day. That was like two winters ago, something like that. But yeah, take one of those with you. Mm-hmm. Just suck on that while you do just it. Be like, <sighs> yeah, people are going to think you're insane, but they, it'll be fine. <laughs> if you're wondering what we're talking about, they're called uh, boosts. Yeah, and it's just a it's a aerosol can of oxygen mm-hmm. that I think we sell around here because we're, we live in a mountain state where mm-hmm. lower altitude people come to recreate mm-hmm. and sometimes like, you know, pass out. Yeah. Anyway, prime IV. That is why you are, hang on. Let me get here. <laughs> <laughs> IFAF this week. <laughs> Chris, Chris by five. five to you. 20 on finger gun salute you, you. <laughs> and chef's kiss. To you. <laughs> Ew. Oh, they're gain fresh. No, I washed them just <laughs> okay. like an hour ago. Okay, good. 